Um, Scott, uh, a few changes to the team. Can you just talk through, I guess, the first two being injured, Caleb Clark and Ethan yeah. Blackadder, uh, how, how serious are those injuries? Uh, not major injuries, but definitely up for this test. Uh, yes, I'll call them minor, minor injuries. Uh, neither of them were, would be available to have played um, this weekend. How much emphasis do you put on the bench with TJ Fedenara and, and Bowden going back there? Yeah, obviously we've looked at it and realised it's really important to have experience at the end of games. Uh, it's, it's a great, um, great couple of names to, to put on there with a lot of tests and a lot of experience and you know, they'll come on and finish a job for us. Well, it's easy if Lions don't play, haven't seen too much of him there yeah. for the Chiefs this year, but what gives you the confidence that he's ready for a big test like this? He's, uh, he's a hell of an athlete. And built for these sort of games. Um, he's, he's a great defender, great skill set, and we've been impressed with him in the last month. And I believe with um, Ethan's injury, it, it's his time. And just how many of the changes were, I guess, prescribed? Like we've tested a couple of injuries as well, but were they reactive to the performance at Ellis Park? Or were you always thinking maybe you might put those players to the bench? Or, um, you know? uh, we wanted to look at, at, uh, at Corti starting uh, and and it just worked out this way this week for us in, in, in that regard and the opportunity to play full fullback and, and give Sevu a world-class wing with, with Mark Talia, who can, he goes pretty well as well. So, you know, we've, we're fortunate we've got some quality players and in, in, in this week it's, um, it's a mix for us. Just lastly for me, you've used Will a lot at fullback for the Crusaders. He's only played there once, or started once at test level before, but um, a big test match, what gives you the confidence he's good to go at that fullback? Oh, look, he's fit and he's able, he's trained really well. You know, he covers full back and wing anyway in, in the game and the structure that we do play. So he'll slot straight in, he's been around a while. Just on that new look back three, yeah. um, you're like, is this going to necessitate much of a change in the way the team's going to play with Will there? Uh, oh, look, we, you know, have massive change from week to week. It's more the style of the individual. Look, he's played a lot of rugby with Sevu. Um, and Mark before. It depends sort of what, what kicks sort of cycles we get into or kind of um, counter attack opportunities he gets. But look he'll straight he'll slot straight in, he knows the game well. And uh, Luke on the on the bench. Yeah. Yeah, Luke was uh, we believe that, you know, he's a he can cover all three positions, you know, he's kept in his uh, super side, he's uh, just what we need we believe for this week. Uh, Reza, what's uh, have you ever heard of the Captain Maris? Oh, shivers. Okay, the change, uh, change of subject here. Yeah, sorry. Uh, the Captain for team selection to the Captain Maris. Yes. Basically, your Captain base fans. Can you just talk about the fans? Um, remember that your town's playing. Uh, the New Zealand team is playing in, in at Newlands. Oh uh, yeah. Well, yeah, we've had plenty of supporters outside the hotel. Um, they love a selfie and a, and a um, autograph, and the, you know they know the players just as well as the. As uh, they do at home, look, I know there's a lot of passionate supporters here, so we're looking forward to playing in front of them. Uh, uh, just what's your stance on overseas base players playing uh, for the All, Black, All Blacks? But what's the base players? Overseas base players. Oh, that's what you're in there. Your stance on that? I think the CEO covered that off pretty clearly the other day, didn't he, with his yes. with his answer? Um, they're the current they're the current laws and, and, and rules, so that's what they are. Right, so back to the team selection stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, Smite and TJ and Bowden come back to the bench. Yeah. Everyone wants to start. But how yeah. are they, um, were they receptive, obviously, to the idea of coming back to the bench? And acknowledging a little bit that the bomb squad, that they've been very, you didn't, didn't experience come up? Yeah, I, yeah, it's uh, it's a tough conversation. Uh, you, both of them were, they're great team men. They've been around for a long period of time. They know the All Black Jersey. Um, uh, is, is so important to all of us and that if, if they need to come on and finish a job, they will. Uh, and you know, you've got to be really respectful in those conversations and, and talk through the reasons why, but the, the, they understood and they, they want to start, as you said, they want to start, they want to be out there for the, for the majority of the match, but it's just how we finish the match is the, is the key. Yeah, well, that's good. Is lat Latin, um, you haven't seen much of him um, as a, you know, uh, as a scrum off. Oh, he's quick, he's got a great pass, um, he's intuitive, uh, gets himself in some great support roles. Uh, he does all, all, all the basics really well, he's a great competitor. Do you consider a 6-2 bench fit at all? We know that 
Folks, they like it, and sometimes they even go seven one. Yeah, we we were thinking eight zero. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but but it didn't that, last that long, so. <laughs> <laughs> just in terms of the challenge of the yeah. box, what do you think you guys need to do differently this time to, to get over the line? Oh, look, obviously last week we, we gave our opportunities with, what, 10 minutes to go and a little bit of discipline and uh, just gave them too many opportunities inside our, our 22. It was fine, fine margins, you know, the, the whole game and that, that's test footy. So we looked at all our efforts and then focused on areas we could be better and one of them is obviously finishing matches. We saw what happened uh, last week with that game, but what are you hoping for from the officiating point of view? Uh, consistency. Uh, just consistencies in calls. Uh, yeah. Rosa, what have you made of the Springboks holding off their teams out until later today? Obviously normally name their team on Tuesday. Do you uh, I, yeah, I expect everything. <laughs> expect everything from them. Uh, yeah, good. That's it's, it's fine. They, they, they name it at the time they need to, and if it's not Tuesday, it's Thursday, isn't it? Like everyone else. So, just yeah, just we'll wait. Wait. yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing it. Just, just on yeah. Ethan, he's obviously had a few injury um, yeah. setbacks through his career. How, how to trip, tough for him to have another one? Yeah, it's a, like I said, it's minor, but man, he's in some hell of form. You know, going to clips with him last night and. Just an acceleration to everything. He sort of doesn't pump the pump the brakes too often, old Ethan. Uh, and he look, it was just a, it was great that he got his body into test match level, uh, and he could play consistently and, and have the impact on that match. So, you know, not naming him has been pretty difficult because he, you know, he deserves that opportunity. And, you know, he'll be back pretty quickly. Yeah, and that's a good thing. No Dalton in the team as well. Mm. He's I think recovered from his thumb injury. Yeah, he was. He, he, he came right. There was coming right this week, uh, and it was it was it was a call between him and Luke, and we've gone for Luke. Yeah. How important is it, is it uh, to win the Freedom Cup, given that you've held it for so long? Oh, obviously, it means a lot. Uh, yeah, obviously, it means a lot. You know, we've discussed it, uh, but performances look after trophies, so that that's been our focus. Mm. Uh, the All Blacks were known to be a dominant side, especially the last 20 minutes, um, in, especially in the McCaw era. Um, what, what do you, there have been reports saying that the All Blacks have lost their swag. I mean, what are your comments on that? Who, who's your reports from, sorry? Um, from New Zealand journalists saying that the All Blacks have lost their swag. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, obviously, you know, we had a game on the weekend that we had an opportunity to win, so... It's a small snapshot of it. Um, you know, we've never got another opportunity this weekend. Uh, the last question is one more. Um, what are you expecting out of the Springboks this weekend? Oh, extremely passionate and physical, like they are every other week, and you know, got hell of a depth to their squad. Like I said, when they name their, when they name their team, they'll be have sort of clear uh, indication how they're going to play. And oh, look. You know, with your world number one, you always turn up. So we, we expect everything from them. Um, obviously, a little bit of creativity that they've got in their group as well, and uh, another hell of a test match. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, everyone. Uh, Wallace, congratulations. Um, how are you feeling about getting uh, a start in this test? Yeah, thank you very much. Um, yeah, definitely excited. Um, it's a big test. Um, my first start as well, so I'm excited to see what, I, see um, how I do and see how I challenge myself as well. So. Most, or, or you played the whole season at number eight uh, for the Chiefs. How much has changed it going to be to be on the blind side? Yeah, well, I think it's um, definitely a, a, a big change. Um, but um, we'll prep well throughout the week and yeah, I'll get my reps right and yeah, it should be all good. What kind of experience have you had at blind side? I think played a couple of games at Harvard there? Yep, a couple of games at Harvard there. Um, probably my most recent experience was at Harvard. So, yeah, like I said, it'll be a bit of a change, but um, get the represent throughout the week and prepare well. So. Earlier this year, I think you're playing Chiefs Development, and now you're starting a test against the Springboks. Mm -hmm. It's been, been quite the rise. I mean, you pinch yourself at you're starting a test like this in Cape Town this week. Yeah, still a bit, um, you know, still feeling a bit overwhelmed, but um, uh, yeah, just, just excited and yeah, keen to get into it. So. What did you notice last week about the game, and, and what do you think you can add to, to the All Blacks pack this week? Yeah, I think the big one is being able to play for the full 80. Um, 
being able to keep that level high um, right throughout the entire game. And um, like we all know, it's a physical game, so I'll be expecting that, that this week as well. So. Jordy, what's the mood been like in camp this week as a senior player? What's the message you've been giving the team? Yeah, it's been consistent. We've prepped well as we did last week, so um, nothing too much changes there. But obviously, there's a little bit of disappointment that's lingering from last week, and yeah, we want to right a few wrongs. So um, yeah, it's been a good week so far, but there's still a little bit to go, and uh, it's another big challenge against a, a very good side. It's been quite a bit of overhaul um, in this team, but more than we kind of used to um, with the All Blacks. How does that feel from your point of view? Um, I think it's normal for a, for a year after a World Cup phase. We've been through one of them before, and um, certainly not making any excuses <coughs> in that space. We um, have had plenty of time to prep, and the this week has been very good as well. Um, but we're facing a very good opposition as well, so we need to learn fast, adapt, and and hopefully do everything we can to get a win on Saturday. I want to um, obviously I watched you in the in the Super Rugby, but for the border media, just tell us who you are and uh, what could we expect from you um, this coming weekend. Yep, yep. Uh, my name is Wallace. Um, played for the Chiefs in Super Rugby this year. Um, played number eight for the Chiefs, and uh, hopefully a bit of physicality this physicality this week, and yeah, hopefully can bring that into the games. So. Is uh, uh, Ethan Blackadder giving you some tips on what to expect from Peter State in the board? <laughs> Yeah, obviously he's a um, very helpful. He's been very helpful for me um, in this entire sort of campaign, and um, obviously it's come with a bit of an unfortunate um, circumstance. But yeah, he's giving me a bit of tips, um, and but we'll keep that to us. So, yeah. And and uh, what does Razor told you? What what did he want to see from you on Saturday? Just that physicality, um, both on attack and defense, and um, yeah, just like I said, I'll try and bring that on on the weekend. So. Uh, Jordi, um, the box should, um, uh, well, Rasa did mention that if there will be a few changes in the team, but what are you expecting from them here in Cape Town State? And they haven't won the Freedom Cup uh, in, in uh, over a decade. I mean, what are you expecting from them this coming weekend? Yeah, probably nothing different to what they've put out in the last in those six, seven, eight years. They've been ultra consistent. Um, their form doesn't really waver from week to week. Um, and sometimes their selection does, so they've got a lot of depth in their squad and um, we're not aware of the team that's been named yet, but um, no, we may expect the, the same team or we could expect a lot of changes. It's kind of been what Russie's about, um, but look, whoever he puts out there seems to do a job, so it's going to be a big challenge in Cape Town this weekend. Are you going to miss your big bro in, in the starting lineup, and, and what do you expect from him from the bench also, because that's where the box sort of made the difference last week? Yeah, I think um, we we didn't finish the game well last week, and we haven't for a few weeks. So um, hopefully we can we can close the game out in the last quarter if we get the opportunity to this week. So um, yeah, it's been a big focus for us. And just Bowden off off the bench. Sorry. Uh, Bowden better off the bench. What's the question? Sorry. Uh, what do you hope to see from him in that last quarter? Oh, nothing too dissimilar from what he normally does each week. So. Um, he'll be uh, yeah, wanting to, to make a difference. Jordy, obviously there's changes to the bench, but it can't all be about the bench in the last 20 minutes. Is, is, what are you sort of seeing out there? Is the, is the heads dropping or fatigue? or Because it, it's been you know, three weeks in a row now around some of those sort of changes in the last 20 minutes. Yeah, I think we just need to keep um, applying pressure uh, when it matters in, the, in those uh, deciding sort of minutes of the game and you can't let teams off the hook. Um, a little bit of that has been us and, and we've tried to focus on those areas throughout the past few weeks and I feel like we're getting there, we're learning, um, so hopefully we see um, some improvement in the weekend. So then just your thoughts on Peter Step to as a player, we know what happened last year in the final, well he, he targeted you, tackled you many times, yeah. you know, he made 28 tackles, <coughs> um, just your thoughts on him last week, he played in three different positions. Yeah, exceptional player, a uh, player I have a lot of respect for and uh, he's so versatile, so durable and covers a lot of the ground and yeah, it's inevitable if I'm playing at 12, we're going to be running into that channel and Peter Steff will be there, so uh, I enjoy it, um, it's a great challenge and you want to test yourself against the best. Jordan, having Cortez at 9 and Bullock at 15, pretty expecting from those two, it's a pretty exciting back line. Yeah, um, yeah, expect a lot of energy. Um, the tests 
tests are difficult, um, particularly in South Africa. So, yeah, hopefully they can just go out there and, and just do their basics well. And they've got a lot of backing from other players and, and obviously the coaches too. So um, it's a great challenge for them and we'll see how they feel. Uh, Jordi, just in terms of, it's the first match at the AHL Stadium between these two teams, um, but the box haven't beaten the All Blacks since 2005 in Cape Town. Are these types of stats anything you guys talk about during the week? Certainly not. Inconvenient facts um, won't have any relevance in the way we prepare this week. Do you think the, the, the match to the Ennisbar game, obviously that was at altitude, faster pitch backs, the Cape Town a bit similar to Wellington and heavier field, heavier, better conditions? Yeah, the, I think the pitch in Wellington's actually pretty fast. Um, so, uh, and I haven't been to the Cape Town Stadium, so I don't know what to expect uh, in that space. Um, like you said, other All Blacks here haven't played in that stadium too, so we'll just have to wait and see. Wallace, what was your initial reaction when the team got named to the playing group? Was it any surprise from yourself, maybe getting named in the sixth jersey? Yep, well, definitely a lot of surprise. Um, yeah, obviously been there, haven't played six in a while, so, um, to be just to hear my name but get called out um, at that jersey was definitely different and yeah like I said we're just going to have to get the reps in throughout the week so. Well, is this the first time in South Africa? This is my first time. Yeah, yeah, how's it been for you the experience and obviously all blacks have a lot of fans in Cape Town in particular? Yeah oh, it's, been, it's been good. Uh, we went to Table Mountain yesterday so some good views up there and then the fans here are just amazing as well. Um, very polite, very um, Greetings, so we've been, um, yeah, it's been good to see all the fans out here. So. Oh, just Jordy, um, Jordy, away from the game, but we talk um, this week about perhaps the All coming back and doing the full tour of South Africa in 2026. Um, how exciting is that for you? Yeah, I wasn't aware of that, but that's, that'd be great. Uh, Any time we get the chance to come to South Africa as players, it's amazing. We've obviously haven't had the ability to do that. Um, Losing the South African teams in Super Rugby, um, so yeah, I'll, that'll um, that'll be very welcoming amongst the group.